Hi, today I'm going to take you through some steps to hopefully clear the check ink cartridge or check cartridge message for all of the HP printers and cartridges listed in the description below. Now this isn't a guaranteed fix, this is more troubleshooting to hopefully remove whatever is stopping your HP printer from recognizing the cartridges. Now the first thing to do is check that both the color and the black cartridge are in the correct position within your printer. So get your printer's cartridges into the cartridge replacement position. As you can see here, we've got the color cartridge on the left and the black cartridge on the right. Now, if you look in and around the, the cartridge cradle, you should see markings kind of indicating which side the color should go in and which side the black could go in. In this particular printer, it is just in this little tray you can see here, demonstrates color on the left, black on the right. So we know that's not the problem with this printer. It is also important to note that your printer will need both the black and the colour ink cartridge installed, regardless of if you just wanted to print using the black or the colour ink. It will need to recognise both of the cartridges. Now, the next thing we're going to check is that you have the correct cartridges for use in your printer installed. Now, the easiest way to work this out with these HP printers is to take a quick look at the lid of the cartridge. And this should be the same whether it's a remanufactured or an original cartridge. You'll see both a uh, HP shortcode, which is generally like HP 300, HP 301, HP 901, something along those lines, uh, which kind of covers the series of cartridges. And in addition to that, you'll see, see if you can see here, very small text. You've got a unique code that identifies the, the cartridge specifically, um, its capacity, whether it's color, whether it's black. This one is CC643E, and that's the, the color one. Now if you need any clarification as to which is the correct cartridge for your printer, check your printer manual or just give it a quick Google. The most likely cause of the checking cartridges error message is that your printer simply can't recognize the cartridge on there. Um, and all your printer uses to communicate with the cartridges is this little metallic strip you can see here. This will be the same on both black and color cartridges. Um, all the information reg regards to the ink level estimate etc is kept on here and your printer needs to be able to read this fully in order to uh, attempt printing. Now the most common cause of issues is that the, uh, the contacts themselves have been obscured or physically damaged so just take the cartridge out of your printer, give it a quick check for any damage to the strip or ink dirt anything on the contacts. Um, if you can't see anything it's worthwhile giving it a quick wipe anyway just in case there's oils or something that's not going to be necessarily visible on there. So I'd recommend just giving it a quick wipe down with a piece of kitchen tissue or another non-fibrous tissue. And with that done, just reinstall it into your printer. If the error message remains, it's entirely possible that the contacts within your printer may also similarly have a oxidization or dirt or ink or something along those lines on them. So to clean these, just remove the cartridges from the printer and you should see the contacts that kind of match up. There! Um, now what we're going to do is just give those a, a wipe down, uh, again using a non-fibrous tissue. Now be very careful when you wipe these because there's sometimes a couple of things obscuring in there, like the little hook on this printer. And the contacts are quite often pointed or raised, so uh, be careful not to leave any scraps of tissue on the inside. Um, it's also best to do this with the power to your printer off because some of these printers the, the cradle will move after it's been set idle for a little bit. So wipe down both contacts and then try the cartridges again. The next step is just to replace the ink cartridge in question. Now if you have a, a cartridge that you know to work in the printer or one that's worked there previously I'd recommend giving this one a go. Otherwise it's probably best to just install um, a brand new cartridge, preferably a HP original in the hope that that one is recognized. If after all this your printer is still in an error state, it may be that there is a genuine problem with the machine um, electronically with the contacts, the cradle, something deeper inside the machine that you're not going to be able to troubleshoot as an end user. As such I'd recommend getting in touch with HP or a printer technician will help hopefully be able to sort that out for you. But I hope you found this guide useful. If there's anything you've got to add please do let us know in the comments below.